or whatever else I can trap. I have two foothold traps that I'm gonna dig a little hole. I watched a couple of videos I've really never trapped before. Uh, I'm gonna dig a hole and cover it up with some dirt and come back tomorrow and see if they're gonna catch anything. I've got two of these and I got a couple of live traps today too. After searching all over BB trying to get a live trap. Nobody in BB had one, but it worked out great because we went to Tractor Supply and they had two for one deal. So 32 bucks for a big trap and a little trap. Okay, so I got the trap set and I've got the hole dug and Sophie likes the smell of the bait. Get back, Sophie. Get back. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to cover it up with a little bit of dirt and some leaves and we're going to leave it and see, see how it works. I'm just following what I saw on YouTube, so who knows if it's even going to work. We've got uh, raccoons and a couple of fox. So, so we're gonna see what we can get. The key is to make it get back, make it look as natural as possible, supposedly. Try to get keep the sticks out of it so the sticks don't get caught and legs get caught. Um, for anybody wondering, these traps are humane, they don't draw blood, they don't hurt unless they pull on it, which they're going to pull on it, but it's not going to hurt them. You can stick your hand in it and it's, it won't hurt. It just is enough pressure to hold the foot. So it's not, was she just rolling in that? <laughs> Ew. Get back. So they're humane traps. On to the next. Okay, on this one I'm going to do the whole process. The setting the trap and then digging the hole and then I'm going to put corn over this one. A little bit of corn and some dirt. I've got a corn pile about four feet away from where this one is. I'm going to set it and then hopefully without Sophie being in the way and getting into the stank. And then we're gonna set the live traps with an old can of potted meat that I found in the pantry. I'm setting it first. I don't know why, because I wanted to, I guess. All right, trap set. Cold makes my nose run, so if I'm snottling everywhere, that's why. Scrape into the dirt, son.
But I only watched one video. It seemed legit though, so we'll see if it works. See how the trap is about even with the dirt? I'm gonna sprinkle some dirt in there. I'm no expert. And then I'm gonna grab a handful of corn. And we'll see how that works. Alright, so this is my corn pile for the deer, which I'm not really hunting anymore because I got burned out and it's cold and I don't like cold. Um, I've gotten up to 10, 15 raccoons on one picture. So what we're trying to do is deplete the predator as in raccoon and possum population. So hopefully the turkey will want to come in. So when springtime's come, springtime comes and turkey season opens because there's only one here a year for now and that's in the spring um, hopefully they'll start coming in we've seen turkey we've heard turkey but we haven't seen a bunch of turkey at one time like they're not making this a regular path and like I said before there's foxes there's possums and we just want to not necessarily eliminate the population but lessen the population so the turkeys have more of a chance to thrive on our property and potted meat found it I'm just gonna open it up and I'm gonna set this on top of the truck so Sophie doesn't get it and cut her tongue while I'm over here, I'm going to grab some cat food out of the truck. Brought some cat food to sprinkle around in there. Sophie thinks it really smells good. Can't have cat food. Sophie is hindering. Try to get it away from the edge. There we go. All right. I'm gonna set this. Okay. Trap set. And it really doesn't make any difference whether it's out in the middle of nowhere or hidden in the brush. Raccoons are gonna eat whatever they want to eat whenever they want to eat it. It doesn't matter. And Sophie really wants that potted meat. Sophie, back off, fool. I'm going to put this little one, this was the two for one deal, $32 for this little small animal trap. It could catch rabbits, um, maybe a smaller raccoon could get in there, maybe a squirrel. We'll see. I'm going to set it right here, this hole right here in this tree. I've sat in that blind right there and watched a big old squirrel make circles all the way around here. And Sophie just tripped that trap over there, which is, she's not in it, but she tripped it. Anyway, I've watched squirrels go in this hole of this tree and then come back out, make a circle with a mouthful of nuts and then go in that tree. So since I know that the squirrels come here, I'm gonna set the trap right here on the side and see what we get. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some cat food and I filled my hoodie pocket full of corn and I'll sprinkle some of that in there too. We'll see what happens. If I have too high a hopes, I'm just gonna be disappointed, so whatever.
Hair trigger. corn at the back there. Irresistible. Irresistible food. And I'll throw some cat food. Just, who knows? Do you like cat food? Put down in the comments. Do they like cat food? What kind of do these critters like other than everything? I don't see why they wouldn't like cat food. Free food is always good food to an extent. All right. We'll come back tomorrow. Uh, I work until one o'clock, so we're going to come out here in the afternoon, hopefully without Sophie, because she's going to go crazy if we do have anything. Maybe we'll bring her. That might be funny. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to close this video with a little uh, progress picture of the shop. We finally have trusses. It's been a long process. And that'll probably be another video do's and don'ts. We got all the trusses up, finally. He put them up all by himself. No help, because nobody was showing up to help that was supposed to help. And here's a little close-up of our fence as well. <clears throat> I haven't done that yet either, so we got all the way down to the end over there and it's just welded wire post and rail four by four and two by sixes and it goes all the way down there so that'll be the end of this video and i'm probably going to upload this one and then do hopefully some caught raccoons or something all right y'all have a good day thanks for watching Please like and subscribe if this kind of stuff interests you or if you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.